Please put your hands together. Cat, dog, bird. beautiful crowd you are. <laughs> it's an incredible pleasure to play here today in this amazingly atmospheric renovated barn with all the art and all the people and yeah thank you so much for having us Mike and crew. Um, you guys are brilliant what you're doing here. There's a little song called Begging for Change. you 
whole show together and um, I wasn't really sure what order to put everything in because there's a lot of songs and what do you put first, what do you put second, you know, and um, and I realised as I was putting it together that all of this first set that you're going to hear, that you're hearing, um, they're all about becoming a new family, my children, family life and all of the turmoil that happens in that time and all of the beauty as well. Um, and then the second set is, um, is completely different, but it's kind of around about, you know, finding things that you love and, and, um, and there's a whole different thing which I'll talk about next set, I think, because I don't want to play all our cards now. That would be crazy, wouldn't it? If you'd go home halfway through, we know. <laughs> um, so this whole set is all about that and this next song called Wolf is, um, was written and a very, very dear friend of mine who had had a new baby and um, was going through some traumatic um, postnatal depression. And um, I was really thinking a lot about it because I just had two children myself and, um, and knew quite how difficult it was without that even playing, you know, its, its place. You know, I thought it was a really um, difficult thing to try and put into song. Um, so I had a crack at it and Andy came up with a killer mandolin line, didn't you, Andy? Yeah, and um, together we kind of wrote this song. Um, we were reading a lot of kids' books at the time and that big bad wolf turns up a lot in the fairy tales and also the wild things and places like that. Um, there's a lot of scary creatures in there. And, um, and so we wrote this song called Wolf. It's kind of about that wolf that, that hides within us all. One, two, oh, one, two, three. Hello, how do you do? Well, I'm feeling blue. How about you? I'm too low and tired to think. I'm just watching the tube as the baby sleeps in the neon blue. He's here with me. So I'm hiding myself 
In all of these shelves, the drawers are closed against the wind. Can you read the lines where the floods have drained hard and dry under my skin? Oh, no, no. I guess most of us in this room will have had contact with little people at some point. They're pretty good, aren't they? We love our little people. And when my little girl was born, actually nine years ago, I started to write a song about her. And I kind of got hijacked by this other song that you heard, the very first one we played called Lost Ones, because in between my first and second one, I lost one. And um, so that's where that song kind of came from. And I thought, no, I really want to write a song about my girl. So maybe she was a couple of years old by this stage and, and I wrote this song called Tinsel Town. And I noticed a lot of my friends who are in the performing arts, busy, busy, doing their work and getting on with their creative projects. And I remember sort of feeling a little bit left behind and um, sort of drowning in three small children and 
not really sure if I was going to get a chance to write a song again. And, but I also, every time I looked at her, I actually couldn't imagine being anywhere else and didn't want to be anywhere else and had no desire to be anywhere else just for that moment. So there was this sort of funny space I was sitting in. So I wrote this song, Tinsel Town. I've got to say it's a real pleasure to play here with these beautiful musicians, all of us together again. It's been a little while. And um, there's Cliff Milne here on my right playing an amazing guitar work. <laughs> Cliff comes in and he, um, he's got such a creative brain that he kind of hears a song and goes, I know how to make that better. And every single time, and he has, pretty much every song that we've tried to make better, he's helped make better. So um, Cliff Milne. Um, <laughs> and Paul Angus here on, behind us on drums, he's played with us only the twice. This is his second gig with us, but he learnt, I think, all of our songs in about one second. And either that's because our songs are really simple or that's because he's bloody good. So, anyway. <laughs> and of course, it's Andy Voigt, who's been my co-writer and um, co-conspirator for the last 12 years that we've probably been jamming around together. So um, this is a pretty exciting... 12 years ago. He started with my Andrew. Yep. Was there. Yep. Marley was just born. Just born, yeah. So. Yeah, and she's now this beautiful teenager over there. So, wherever she is. She is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, a fair bit's happened in 12 years. We've played a lot of lovely local venues and festivals and things. And, um, and um, it's kind of going to be sad to stop singing these songs. So, who knows, we might have it come back just like John Farnham. It's a song called Tooth and Nail. Oh, elsewhere. 
No, it's called Elsewhere, actually. Teardrop, full stop. Shifting sand, lighthouse, find me a place to land. I watch the way the overcast of blue mirrors the change I make in front of you. Simple talking. Holy ground, nothing crazy, just being found. That same old moon in the dying light is turning gold and rising in the sky. In the This next song really is called Tooth and Nail, and uh, the basic guitar part was written by a friend of ours called Darren Zaza, who's often stepped in and played the cat dog bed over the years. Um, and he had this guitar part, and he said, Oh, look, in all the bands he's playing with at the moment, he said, I can't really find a home for it. Do you want it? And um, I was thinking about you guys and thought you might, might be able to put something to it. And so he very generously gave us this bit of music, and I said, oh, I think I could find some words for that. And Andy, brought some bits and pieces as well, a beautiful picking pattern, and, and then we jammed it recently, and this is what we got. But um, basically the, um, the story is when my firstborn was born, he was born in England um, when we were living there, and, um, and he was in intensive care for really um, maybe the first 10 days of his life and um, sustained a brain injury 
during his birth experience. And so um, this is kind of about, it's hard to write about that kind of stuff, but um, I was noticed, I remembered how when I was in the lift going up to feed him every morning and every night and every hour it seemed like, um, I just started off in the pregnancy with these really beautifully long fingernails. They were amazing. I've never been able to keep long nails in my life. They're really bitten off. As you can see, they're actually painful. They're so short. Um, but during my pregnancy, I was able to grow these amazing long fingernails. But going up in the lift to feed him that very first time, I remember each one just falling to the ground. I remember ripping each one off just with the anxiety of it all. And, um, and so of all the joys, because he's a beautiful person and, and he's now 13 and, and he's thriving and stuff, he still has plenty of challenges, but um, it's a pretty happy ending actually. But this song is about that period of time and it's called Tooth and Nail. Let's go down to the edge of town Where the sun goes down, the sun goes down And I'll tell you again about the time my nails Were bitten right down, bitten right down One by one And the way that the light in the time with my tooth and nail and the light so quiet that I thought my heart would fail Let's go down to the edge of town where they're making hay where they're making hay And remember the day When you said you'd do whatever it took Began to pray, I began to pray All over the night and day And the songs that I sang to him Kept time with the clicks and hum and the night so quiet that I thought the light would never come.
Okay. You know, it's funny as a songwriter, isn't it? You don't sometimes realise that you're bearing all until you're up here and then, whoops, <laughs> there it all is. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It's nice to sing these songs to a beautiful audience who are so, so kind and, and, um, and generous and warm, so I appreciate this lovely room. Thank you. Um, <laughs> we've got um, one more song before we finish and have a break, and then we'll, we'll come back again um, and tell you some more stories. Um, thank you so much, John, for this beautiful sound that you've got going on over here. <laughs> He's not Tony yet. He's only Tony if he gets it wrong. <laughs> he won't be Tony today. This is called New Country. This is um, kind of the experience I had of little people trying to sleep in. <laughs> the sun is your in the morn Your voice is ours and it moves me to the dawn Your whispered voices are songs that open up my eyes and point my feet in forward
Thank you. We'll take a short break and um, we'll come back and see you very soon. Thank you. Cat, dog, bird, put your hands together. And there's more to come. You see what I mean? I've got to be on tiptoes for Jen's mic. Um, you got 20 minutes. Knock yourself out. There's drinks out there and there's more pizzas and uh, I just finally got mine. It's fantastic.